everybody and how are you? My name's Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch and at The Flower Patch I make beautiful artificial flower arrangements for all occasions. Right guys, before we start I just wish to uh, thank everybody uh, for sending me a lovely comment concerning uh, my health and obviously getting the company that I bought the first sofa from uh, coming to collect it and take it back again as I stated I have um, got another one but this time it is real leather I didn't realize the other one was fake leather so I think I um, like the doctor said I was obviously allergic to the first one I purchased as they spray fake leather with chemicals right so <clears throat> today I've decided to do a wreath now I've already attached the bow, or should I say two bows, and I've done a waterfall effect around the side. I did this bow first, uh, which was the loops. I've done it in like a, a white with a silver background. Then I've done this furry one. It's lovely um, from Lily Jade's uh, with the red uh, snowflakes. Then I've got a velvet red one and hit in the center and then this velvet it's like a crushed velvet has got white fur on the edging so i've done the the, the whitest silvery color at five uh, six inch the red one with the fur on the edging at five and a half inch the white fur with the snowflakes at um five inch and then this in the center i did at three and a half inch then I did my, I add long, I add, I add, <laughs> here we go, back to normal. <laughs> I did leave long tail ends to create the waterfall effect where then I attached it with um, some floral wire to the wreath. And as you can see, um, I then made another small bow out of the same of what I used here to sit where I attached the uh, tail ends or the waterfall effect and I've got just a little bit of tail ends hanging on the bottom here. So I've gone down that side um, but the arrangement that we're doing is going to be round this side. So as you've guessed it I'm doing it in silver, red and white. So I've not got no I've got greenery, but not in the colour green. So it's just going to be, well, tell a, tell a little porky lie. The only greenery I've got is this, which is on these picks. Um, and that is all I've got in colour with green on. The rest is silver, white and red. So let's go through what we've got. Now I've got some bay leaves in silver um, very highly this is going to be a lot of glitter guys a lot of glitter um, so we've got the bay leaves in the silver that we're going to use um, I've also in the silver gone through my buckets because two of my buckets fell off the shelf so I've had to sort all those out before I started um, I've got a few oddments here that was in the silver bucket that fell. Um, so I thought I may incorporate some of these. If not, then I have got a bag full of other, some oddments of other uh, foliage. If I can get one out. Like so. Like the tree fern, like the, I think it's a fern. So um, we've got that also. So, and then there's other, another one in here. I've tried to put all the silver glittery ones together. Just get everywhere. And then we've also got some of those ferns as well in the bag also. So, there's a bit of a mixture in there because again I've tried to get everything in one bag. The bags aren't very big but I've managed it so 
that's with those. Then I've also got out some red glittery bay leaves as well. So I thought with us having the silver, I could add the red with it. I have got out some white elephant ears. Now these are not glittery, even though they've got a little bit of glitter on from everything else here. Um, but I've got out some white elephant ears to go just around the sides with it being a, more of a solid leaf that I'd, I'd like to have just at the back. I do always like to have at least one leaf that is solid. Um, I've only cut and I've already placed these on picks before we started just three stems of our white peacock feathers just for a bit of wispiness around the edging and I've also got some white fern now I don't know whether I'm going to use them like so with all those on or cut them down and put picks on we'll see as we go along I found in my white bucket the last few of the white parfumvolia that I've got left. I haven't got any more left, so I'm going to have to order some. So uh, I could use this as filler foliage along with this, like harvest uh, leaves. What was on a big stem, a big bunch, but I placed a lot of the, well, some of them on picks to use a single stem so I could get more out of it. Um, again, as I've just shown you, where's the other one? I've only taken three out, but three of these small picks I also got from Lily Jade's and that I'd like to place in maybe around here, the edging or uh, on the wreath as well. Now I've got some, even though we've got silver and white, I've also got out some red glittery. Fern. Now these are quite glittery as well. They're really, really embossed with glitter. Uh, so I've got some of those as well to go around the side with them being quite long. Now I've got something here that I've just purchased, I think a couple of weeks ago, but with me not being well, I haven't had time to use them. I've got them in gold as well. Um, some silver glittered with i think yes some little sequins on if you if the light catches them as well so they're heavily embossed as well with it uh some again peacock feathers and i'd like to see some of those around the edge as well so it's going to be a very glittery um uh, arrangement today i want to show you that you can if you know you can also make things without using greenery in the colour green. So I've also got out some white glitter and silver glitter poinsettias. Uh, again, just maybe to dot around. I may use them, I may not. It all depends if I feel that it's needed, but I've got them just for backup. I've also got silver, like an iridescent or a, a see-through white um, and then red baubles that we call them in the UK um, or Christmas ornaments so I've got three of each colour out to go with what we're doing and as well maybe dot those around now the only floral well apart from the small ones I've got out two red velvet poinsettias they are absolutely beautiful really got lots of glitter on the tips of the leaves and then I've got a white and a silver one. Just that will go in the centre here and the reds below either side of it. So we've got that one as well. So that's what we've got today, guys. As you saw, no greenery in the colour green. I just want to, you know, do an arrangement to show you that you don't always have to have greenery in the colour green. So let's get started. First of all, I want to put in, oh gosh, they are big. Just three of these. I don't want lots. Where's my papers? So I'm just going to place in, I'm not going past the bow. I'm starting here 
and I'm finishing bef just before that one there. I usually go behind the bow but on this occasion I want to just do something slightly different and I'm going to bring these slightly down I think or do I place them up? think maybe up. And then I'm going to place one here in the center. Now this one's a bit longer. So have I got a small one I've used? No. So I'm going to take off a few of the leaves at the bottom and all I'm doing is just using my clippers you can just pull them off but I'm going to try and not get too much glitter on me I don't think that'll help but we'll see and I'm just going to make this one slightly smaller because I want this one sticking out at the side So it's going to be quite big because it is a 16 inch wreath that we're working on today. You can get these glittery ferns and things anywhere. So I just want it like that. And I do like my wreaths quite big. Um, you don't have to have it this big. You can have, do it in a smaller scale. Put those there. And like with these being a solid leaf, I want these around as well. But before I place those in, Let's get the peacock feathers in and they're going to go, I think, do I place one? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave a gap and place the white elephant ear in between. Oops, you can cut these up. Let's just see here. Yeah. So again, I'm only using three of these. Oh, shit, it is going to be big. <laughs> Let me just see. I don't want it extremely big. I think this one here looks slightly too big. So let's just take these off. Snip that stem shorter. Now this one's tippled over, so I may have to do it with this or three of them, cut them down.
exactly why I do the same. Sorry about this, guys. I just like to cut them so they don't, they're all blending in. There's not any bigger, longer than the others. I think I may just have to go behind here. I didn't want to go anywhere behind the bow, but I think the way I'm placing these, I'm going to have to at least put something there. But not too, too much. And then place one just here. And then the white I want around here. So let's just get rid of all of these. How many have I got? Um, start with the three. So these are going after the red. I do like again I mean, you don't have to always have a solid leaf at the back. It's entirely your decision on what you're creating. Oops, wrong way. And I may just place one on the end here as well. Just turn it around, guys. That's too long. Too long of a step. So we created it like, so I'm going to hold on to these because I may bring some in the centre because when we place these here, I may want something behind it like that, just to, with something light for the red to bounce off. So if we get these in now, these are beautiful. And then the silver one. So I'm just going to have to see where I'm going to place them. Yeah, so the silver one's where the red centerpiece is with the red fern. So I'm going to place that like that. I don't usually put my floral in uh, first, but with this being quite big, I just want to get these in so that I can work around. Again, there's no rule to say you can't place in your floral first. And 
and I'm not placing them flat. I'm letting them stick out or stand out. Again. I think that one needs to go. Let me do it again. Gosh, I'm making mistakes already. Typical, but I'd rather you see how I rectify it. Gosh, this wreath is really hard. I can't get that in. It's not going. Third time lucky, guys. just thought looked like it was sticking out just a little bit more than the white and silver one let's take the tag off Good. fluff it up And this one will sit there. Like so. So now we've got all our poinsettias in. Doesn't that look pretty already? I think with these I want to bring these maybe I could bring them in between the poinsettias I may just use two um, let's have a look where's the oh, it's... so let's get those there And I don't want them on the same level as the poinsettias. And then I'm going to place this one here. I could use the other one if I wish. Maybe bring it down there. We'll, see, we'll just see later. Now I've got these three. I only wanted three. I didn't want to get any more. Just for the wispy. I 
could bring one at the top, one around the centre and then one down the other side. <clears throat> I'll bring it forward so it's not behind everything. I'll just slightly bend it forward so it's leaning inwards again just to give that nice wispy wispy feeling so I'm going to bring one around here It's caught. And then one round at the near the bottom. So it'll be probably just after this point set here. So you've got a nice bit of a movement in your arrangement. So let's get the silver as well. So I think I may wear the red and the white is in between place of silver and then where the white and the silver is place a red bay leaf. So between the red and white, we'll bring a silver. Again, just manipulate your stem. And now we'll get a red bay leaf, so in between the white and the silver, we'll place a red. Like so. And do the same with the white and the red is very glittery very 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 glittery And then the white and the silver place a red. One more with the silver. Here. Oh, we've got that one there. So that, let's put these 
Oh, I didn't bring a bag out for these guys. <laughs> Let's just put a band back round them so they stay together. We'll place those there. Right, let's put that one there. Let's have a look at our now they come as a bunch like so sometimes I will pull them off like that and place a single you know a pick on them sometimes I use them as they are or oh, they click on that's good so I want to see I think I want to use it as they are. So I do have three on some of them. I wonder if oh look at that. <gasps> oh my goodness. So there's two with three. Can I get another one? Yeah. So we'll do it like that to start with. So let me just have a look where I'd like to place these. I definitely need a white here. So if I just put a three in front of the red fern, just spread it out a little bit. So if I do where there is red fern three, the one with three leaves on. And spread those as well. And then the other one. Just having it facing me, everybody, why I can just see where to place it. So I've got two left. So I could bring one here. I know I don't want to really go behind there, but I've got to finish something off here. I can't leave it where it's just, you know, blank. Even if it's just a little bit of foliage popping up at the top. And I'll do the same down there. I know we've got one there, but I'm going to place this one at the back there. So that is those in. There's not much left, guys. I don't mind seeing on this three, though I forgot to say this at the beginning. Uh, I do want to see some of the grapevine because I want to see the woody effect. Um, so let's get some of these. Now let's have a look. Just 
do I I think a bit of red would be nice I don't want to put too much silver in let's just have a look in my bucket of red guys and we'll see you know there's just something you know wispy I want I want to see. I think I've got some oddments have a look take the foliage off I don't want the foliage again I'm trying to do it without so that that's a bit wob wobbly so I've got two of those and one of those So if I placed, I'm going to place this red cypress leaf at the bottom where the white elephant ear is. Let me cut it a little bit, I don't want it that long. I'm just going to place this in front, just so it's got a little bit of red down there. And I'm going to do the same up above with this one. Place a little bit of red here as well. And then I've got, do I bring that here? Yeah, I'm going to place that behind the white coming inwards towards the center yeah and the white point set here so it's got a bit of a bit of movement going inwards so we'll save those in my oddments I've got some of these glittery red berry spear as well. I could add those. There's six here. So I could place those on picks and see what we get from those. I'll just get some tape. I wonder whether to use white because it's just white. Now I'm just attaching a pick with a bit of glue onto the stem of these glittered berries. And we're going to go up to the top and then before I actually, I haven't got my glue gun on again, put the rest of the tape on. I'm just putting a little bit more glue at the top to hold the tape. Hi Hern. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm going to do the same again with this. If I just show you I've got a pick and then these are just white plastic stems. There's no wire in them. So I'm just dipping my pick in my glue pan, placing them bit further up near the top so it's got more support then getting the tape over the glue so then the tape sticks to the glue and then I'm going to go down past the stems of the berries and then come back up I always double up because sometimes when you're using green, a white tape especially you can see the green pick through it and then I'm just getting a bit of glue on a pick and just wiping it on 
not too much, just a little dab and then just carrying on going round. Got the glue stuck to all my fingers. Oh my goodness. So that's two. And do it with this last one. The same thing. Go down. And then I come back up again. Tear a little piece, and I only tear that right there and leave that little bit, and then put a bit of glue on. And I just do it on the stem here, just a little bit. So, I then the rest, then I just get the rest of the tape and go over the glue with it. So, then I know it's not going to come off. So that's that one. Oh, we've got lots of glitter everywhere. Lots of glitter. I don't know why I bother cleaning up, but while I'm working, it's just, I don't, I don't like mess. <laughs> Not with glitter, especially. There, that'll do. It's better than it was before. So let's get these wispy bits in. Oh, I found another one. Oh, well. So I'm going to bring these up at the top. Where we've got these peacock feathers. Got something on them. I'm going to bring them before the peacock feathers. So they're going to be around there. So let's just cut them. I have those at the back. Now I don't mind that these are much longer than the foliage. It's basically because the wispy, you know, the area you see through them and they don't destruct, you know, obstruct your view when you're looking at it. You tend to see through them. And plus I also think that it adds a little bit extra. Oops. Bring a bit of red near the white. So let's have a look about that now. Lovely. Now that's got a lot, uh, quite a bit of white uh, red in that I think looks lovely. Let me just move my cup, guys. My hubby's made me a coffee. It's so good. So we don't want those. They can go. I'll place those on the floor for now. Now I've got the bits of the white parfavolia. I've got the harvest leaf. I do like, I've got an oddment of that, but I do like that. I don't want it too bushy, so let's have a look in here. If I can just get that. So there's a small piece there. I don't want the long leaves. There's a small piece there. 
wonder if I've cut some down. Because I usually, I'm naughty for that, guys. I cut things down just saves me having to do it when I'm working. No, that's a long one. So, oh, there's one here as well. Oh, that's lucky three. Any more? Any more? Oh. So we don't want that bag. I'm going to place all these sparkly things, foliage in this bag. So we'll hold on to those just for now. So we've got these and I'd like to bring, you know, bring some behind here going inwards towards the centre as well. You know, behind the red um, poinsettias, let's just cut that bit of plastic off. We've got extremely thin stems. So I just want a few coming in. just to give that nice uh, look. I always say if you've got a dark colour like the red, place either, you know, because we're doing red, silver and white, I'd place a silver or a white behind the red. Now, if I, because I've got the white here, as you saw, I placed the red. It's just so that they can, you know, balance off each other and, you know, show each other up, or not up, off, should I say, and it gives it that, you know that more of a balanced look and it also shows you know that you're not just doing red on red where it's clashing or white on white you know you you are actually placing a dark color behind the light and a light color behind the dark so they bounce off each other so i've got some smaller ones here i've got this red here it looks like i'm having to go behind the bow but i don't want it you know too much so let's just turn it around place it with the red and it's just a small piece because I don't want that you know sticking out too much um, I may do one there Blending in with the red cypress leaf. So I've done it like that. I could, if I wish, put one there, but then that becomes a bit too much in the silver again. So we're going to need, now we've got silver and white in. We want some uh, silver and red, we need white. So I've got these parfavolia, what I, I'm going to definitely place in because I want to use these up. One, two, three. Oops, that's come off. Let me glue that one back on. So if it comes off once, I It'll come off again. Some some of your foliage you will be able to clip clip back on. Um, I do get some of those sometimes, and you can just clip them on. So that's got three on, and the others have got two on. Right. So let's just have a look, because I know. I 
think I'm going to first of all, guys, place in some of our little white poinsettias. Do I want them that long? No. So let's cut the stem a little bit more. I don't want a long stem. But I'm going to place that a white again around the silver and reds. Just something slightly more solid. So you will be able to see it. Gonna go in here, just add one in there. Do you always put your, your cutters down and always keep looking for them? I do. So around the red here, just place a little one there. Now, do I bring some around the back? Yes, I'll put three around the back, and then I'll try with the silver. So where the red is, I'm going to place the white, or do I place the silver? No, the white. So we'll place the white right where the red fern is. Let's just bring that. Turn that back in. Bring that behind just so they're intermingling. I don't mind that flopping over, I like things like that. Where can I put this? Down here. Just a bit further down. <coughs> I mean, we still have our baubles or Christmas ornaments as well to go in. So I, what I would do with those is where I would place this near the white now. I wouldn't put a white on the white. I'll probably bring some out around the edging as well because there is a few gaps here. Let's see. Let me use my polfavolia, guys. I've left the silver bag out. Because I may need to just fill it in around the sides where there's a few gaps. Because these are all full here. There's just a gap here to this side. Around here is all quite full. And there's a gap and there's quite full. So I may have to bring some something in. Again just to fill in those little gaps. Let's have a look. Do I bring one under there? Yeah, I'm gonna bring one under there. Just under the bow a little bit. Just got something slightly hanging, not much, so you can see the tip of it. Do I? I may put one up there. Go 
again join it with that just a small little bit on the end and do the same this side so then I've used all, all the pulp of oleo just bring that behind So we've done that. Oh, let me have a drink. I keep, I get that engrossed, guys, because I enjoy what I do. I always forget about my drink. So I'm just thinking what we've got there. Do I place another peacock one there? Let's just have a look. Yeah, it has to be done. Because it's just too big for me. And because of that, I'm going to need a red. So I'm going to use another bay leaf. If I can get one out. And just bring that there as well. Even though I've got the little red berries, it's not enough. Placing another elephant ear as well. It doesn't matter if you, you know, if you've um, not got one, you know, you've found a space as you've been going along and you feel you've got to fill it in. That's okay. That's better. Um, I may need a white flower now. Or do I put a silver one there instead? No, it can't be. Um again as long as as long as you if you notice like I have that there was a gap, just look at what you've done elsewhere and what's next to it and all around it. So I know when we had the peacock feather here. Um, and then the fern we had or here shall I say peacock feather and the fern we had an elephant ear so I put in the pe peacock feather and the fern was already there so we needed an elephant ear placing in so then it then balances with everything else we've done and also there's a red bay leaf with the elephant ear so hence the reason I placed another bay leaf in there so then it's now all balanced and it doesn't look odd. I think let's have a look. Oops. So I think the bay leaf is missing there. The silver, so I've got it's just after the silver. Or do I place it with this? Hmm. Oh, 
could. But I haven't got one there. So it's a waste of time placing one there. I've got... I didn't really want brown in. Let's have a look what they look like. But I know we've got brown in with the grapevine wreath. I'm just going to sit that there. Maybe sit this one somewhere through here. I don't know. I don't know. Let me have a look. Let me just have a scour around, guys, because I think that's a bit too much. Because they let me look from afar. Yeah, it's not going with what we're doing. <coughs> Excuse me. So I may, what could I put there? Can I get, no, let's just bear with me guys. I'm just sorting through something. Oops, I've stuck something on me. Oh, I found some ordnance. Go on then. Let me just... I think they're too much. Because they're quite bulky and they're hiding everything. It's just place. Put those back. I may put two uh, two stags in. I've got two silver stags. I may place that one there. Oops! You see, everything's at, you know what, guys? I think I must have ghosts. Everything is just falling from the top shelf in the buckets, and I don't know whether it's because the buckets are too full. I can't get anything else in, or. I've got somebody with me, coming to join me. So that's three things fell down today. Right, I'm going to add in the stags, just for a little bit of extra decor. Now if I just... We're going to place uh, some baubles in front, so they'd have to be a raccoon, something like that. Let's have a look. Now I need something to cover that space up. If you can hear a noise, guys, it's my cat. I need something to cover that. Let me think. Gosh, I've got that much. I know. I know. It's just come to me. I've got my white acorns. I could place an acorn in. With it being oh, slightly, you know, bulkier. Just place a bit of an acorn in with the stag. 
and then place a stag up there as well. So let's give that a go, cut this stem a little. can't see it as much as the other one. I'm okay about that because it blends in quite well. So there's a lot of white around there. You see you have to keep look, checking to make sure that things are blending in, that there's not too much of one. I wonder if I've got some bigger baubles in red. Let's just have a look. Sorry about this, guys. It's just... I'd rather get it right than it be, you know, looking a bit odd. Oh, my good gracious me. Oh, I have got baubles. Got these red and white ones. Let's just have a look. Same size. Got these red and white ones. Perfect. So we'll use the red and white ones instead. All this change in my mind. So I'm going to bring the red and white. With it having white on it, it doesn't seem, it doesn't clash with the red as much uh, because you can see it standing out with it having the white dots on. So let's get one of those in. So that's taken a little bit more. So that's like that. And I do want to put over where the other stag is. Just place one in front of it. That's there. Come on. I've got the others. I may bring the iridescent ones just slightly out. Silver ones. We'll pop a few in there at the side, or do I? No. Where's the iridescent one? No, the silver. The silver next to, you know, here to fill in the gap. There, that's white, so the silver here with the red. Uh, and I'm going to place one either side. Okay. 
just to fill this little gap in as well. Just push it a little bit more in. and place one just here as well so you can see those two popping out so I've got I think the iridescent one I may place one down here I've got nothing really to hold it on with around just hanging a bit further you know down a bit longer one there one up here one in the center here so let's do that with the iridescent or they're a bit like glass really but they've got like an iridescent shine on them One here as well. If I can get that one in. And then the one down where the red fern is at the bottom. I just turn it so I can see. So I've got one silver left, and then I've got the red. Do I bring the red up here as well? I think where I put the iridescent ones, I'm going to put a red. Where that silver is. Yeah. I will turn it around guys Gosh, I'm not tall enough Excuse me. I think I need some white now adding in. I've still got these. I don't know whether to add those in. I may add the odd one or two in. Oh, my cat's scratching now to come back in. So I'm going to add some white around. Just cut the stems a little shorter. So 
what I'm going to do with these, you've got the red here and the silver. The white's over here and the white's over here. I need some white where the red poinsettia is because it's just looking a little too lonely just with red and silver around this area. So to add in just some white, or I could add in another piece of that as well. Let's have a look. Let's pull that one. Bring a bit of white here as well. Just under. Just so you've got something just, you know, mixing up with it. Where's that other one? So just to add that, so then I'm going to place in some of these in and around as well. So I'm just going to bring one, because I'm using this like a bit like filler. And it's not just on the inside, again I'm using it around the outer side. Even if it's just a little bit. You could use silver colour or mix it, have three colours, the red, silver and the white for your filler foliage. Even if it's just a little bit sticking out. So I'm just place on here with the porphyrolia. Oh my god, oh it's got glitter in it. Oh never mind, at least my insides will shine. <laughs> Let's move it out of the way. So then I'm gonna bring the odd piece on the outside, even though again it's smaller, you may not see it. place one with the porphyrolia on that end as well. So let's just go behind it. And do it like so. So I don't think I need any more of those. Now I've got Do I bring some of these on the outside where the white elephant ears are? I may do that. Bring one around here. Hello. Oh, 
I think everybody loves me today. All I'm being made is cup of coffees. That one's got glitter in. My insides are sparkling. <laughs> are you feeling any better? Yeah, a bit more, still. still a bit raw. Oh dear. My youngest son has got the week off of work. He's put a holiday in, um, and he's he's got a cold. He's got the flu. So much for having a great holiday. He was planning on going golfing and things like that. Um, but he's feeling rough. Place that where the elephant ear is. Oops, the daisy. out a little bit there so I'm just basically filling in the little gaps I'm not really happy about that one I can't really see it that would have been better around there I wonder if I'd place one there and one here yes so let's get that one in. Just where the silver bauble is, around there. Just slightly bend the head, that's it. And then place this one in as well. Just to fill that gap. There. I think that one's just sticking out of that at the back, unfortunately. There. So let me just have a look. Now I can see around the centre there. So do I place. I have red on red. What about the red and white? So I'm just having a look. Oh gosh, I can't get it out. <laughs> Thank you. Are you playing on your game? And then I've found some oddments here. That's a nice piece. I could bring that down here because it's a bit gappy still. Um, and then one up here. So I'm placing them in the same position. Just need something. These are oddments, guys. I don't know. I just found these. Let me just place this in. Because I can still see a gap here. And do the same up above. Oops, I've forgotten about those. Now I was wondering whether to place 
two of these in or do I or do I place this in coming out slightly oh I am I am <laughs> I've just seen it um oh the paper's coming off I'm just going to turn this guys while I just attach the paper some more paper on it's just slightly coming off brown we don't want it to come off that's the reason I glue them on is because the paper or sometimes come starts you know um, the stickiness of it or whatever just starts to come off so I like to get a bit of glue on that's why I do it not everybody does it like me you know it's just I've done that through experience so what I'm going to do with that one moment let me get rid of this wood I've got some wood sticky this this wreath for some reason is quite tight let me get rid of that one as well oh there's another piece here this bit's just sticking out but sticking out not hor you know literally towards the back there's another bit there I usually check them over but it looked okay it's not till you notice oh there's another bit there look <clears throat> right so what I'm going to do with this because obviously I've got the other two here I'm going to build the triangle and I'm going to place if I can come in let me get that bit there I don't know if that's in the right position I'll have a look in a moment I'm going to place that there I don't mind I could place that behind it with it being longer and bring that forward so then I've got the triangle with these so I think by looking at that and then that fills up that and makes it look much fuller than not having nothing there because something is missing there so I'm going to place in this Let's just move that fern backwards. Let's just see where the hole is. Can't see. Like so. And I'm going to spread it. And then just manipulate the poinsettia again. A bit of the red, blue. So then now I've I've covered that gap up there. So I don't need to place any anything like I was going to put in the acorns, but I think that looks okay as it is. I don't want to spoil it. So let me just pop those away. So that, I think on that, we are finished. There's those there. Let me just get rid of everything off of here. 
on this big bag. Let's put a rubber band around it. And that's so. And get rid of our four holes as well. So let me just, oh goodness, goodness me, I said it was going to be glittery. I'm glad Marley's not jumped up, he's on the floor looking at the door. Oh my gosh. So let's just move that. I do love glitter though. <laughs> I love to see it, but I don't like it when it's everywhere. It sticks to anything, as I'm sure you're all aware. And if you walk on it and it's on the floor, you take it wherever you go. I've got it on the floor and I sometimes take it in the house. And I can see footprints where I've been. So, as I was saying, our project for today is the lovely, just red, white and silver. No, well I say no green. If I say no green, I feel like I'm telling a fib or a lie because there is a little bit of green here. So with very, very, very minimal green, virtually non-existent, there is just a few here and on here. But other than that, red, white and silver. And I just wanted to do this, as I stated at the beginning, to show you that you can create something without having to always put greenery in, the colour green for your foliage. Um, and you could just do it out of colours where you can obviously get foliage, like the silver, the white, the red, any colours really, all glittery. And just add in, you know, a bow if you wish, like you'd like to have a bow. Again, I've done the waterfall effect. You just puff it up a bit. Make that sat that way it is. Because it's basically the whites on the silver. That. It's silver there. I wondered where that one had disappeared to. I fluff that red one like that, and then your waterfall effect. Just round it off. You just do that if you like just to give it that round effect. So I wanted to relax, place a bow on one side and have a long bow on that side, going all down one side so you just don't see it, see as much of the grapevine on one side. I could have done a crescent one and just had the bow here, but I decided I wanted, um, before I started to place a big bow at the top, coming down the opposite side and then have all our arrangement on the left hand side. So that's what we've done and we've used the peacock feathers in silver, the red um, fern, the white elephant ears, um, the iridescent bauble or Christmas ornament, the red one and the silver and then these three picks with I think I think the apple picks, yeah, they're not rose hip, they are apples. Uh, on then your silver little poinsettias, your white and silver poinsettia, and your beautiful velvet red poinsettias with your red bay leaf and your silver bay leaf as well. 
your white fern, some of your harvest um, foliage in white. We've got the two stags, one here and one here. I think I need to rearrange how he sits. I'll do that after the video. Um, and then your peacock feathers and your little glittery berry balls here. Oh. And then your bit of red cypress leaves in there as well. And then a bit of oddments, you know what I had left uh, of the foliage with a bit of fern on there in red glitter. And then your white points, little poinsettias also. So, and that's what we've done. And then again, I, you know, with the bow, I've used all soft material because with us having such a lot of glitter, I wanted to have at least something that would soften that look. Because I, it's like when I do other arrangements, I always use things like the soft sage leaf that's like the lamb's ear texture or, you know, a velvety texture, just to soften things and make it look a bit more, I don't know, soft. That's all I can say, it's soft. But it, it always seems to do the job, in my opinion. So just by adding this little vel soft, fluffy... Uh, ribbon and the velvet ones the crushed velvet there as well just by adding those soft touches with the velvet poinsettias against the rough textured glitter uh, foliage it combines and it balances so it, you've heard the saying guys the rough with the smooth or the is it the rough with the smooth or smooth with no yeah the rough with the smooth so that's i've always been you know, oh, years ago, was always told, you know, always incorporate textures, rough and smooth, rough and smooth. So that's always stayed with me, but um, I don't really talk about that, really. But I always just talk, talk about the texture. But have soft textures with the rough texture, you know, uh, shiny textures with matte textures, big florals with small florals, so you do the opposite of what you've got. So like we've got the big poinsettias, then we went to the little poinsettias. So we've got the big flowers and the little flowers. It's like with the ferns, we've got the big red ferns and the small white ferns. We've got the big peacock feathers here. Oops, we've got that come down. Um, with the little peacock feathers. So you have big with small, rough and smooth if that makes sense. Um, so, and that's what we've done throughout. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I sure did. It makes a change from not having any green colour. As much as green, is, as you can see, is my favourite colour. But, again, I just wanted to show you that it can be done without putting any green in a Christmas, you know, wreath. So, again, if you, if you feel you can do it, guys, and you've got enough foliage and things like this to do it without having any colour green for your foliage give it a go give it a go I'm sure even if it's on a smaller scale and you just want to practice on a small 10 12 inch wreath you know try on that whether it be a grapevine wreath or a spruce wreath you know anything of your choice just give it a practice and see how if you you know you've never done one before see how it comes out and if you like it and you're confident enough, which I guess you all are by now. I'm sure you are. Give it a go on then a bigger scale. And it's just the same procedure as you're doing it on a smaller scale, but you're just adding more elements. But remember, rough with the smooth and big with the small. And then you should be way, way ahead of yourselves, guys. So have a great time giving it a go whichever colour you decide and um, please subscribe, share and like to the world, to everybody who you know um, and let them all know that, you know, we do some wonderful uh, creations for all occasions and we, we have a cat with us as well. Mm. So all the best guys, have a wonderful day. I will be here tomorrow, even though I don't do Fridays usually, but because I've been poorly, I am going to be here tomorrow. At least, I don't want to just do two, two videos this week, so I'm going to make sure it's three. So I'll see you all tomorrow. So have a wonderful day, good health, God bless, 
and I'll see you all tomorrow. Won't we, Molly? Say bye. Bye-bye. See you later, guys. Bye. Come on, love. You get down in a minute. Right, let's just show it you on a close-up, guys. Right, I'll show you the ribbon because I know you're all dying to see it close up. Look, it's just fur like you get on a teddy bear. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely soft. And then you've got the crushed velvet with the white fluffy edging here. And then I've got the soft velvet white one there. And underneath, because it's a two, two different ones on the other side, it is silver. So white and silver. So the colours of what we've used. And then I did a smaller bow here. Just a smaller one with a little bit in the centre to cover my mechanics. And then the bigger one up above. So there we have a bit of uh, red glitter cypress leaves. We've got a bit of our parfavolia here. Excuse my dirty hands guys. A bit of parfavolia there and the harvest leaf there with a bit of the silvery fern and then we've got our berries, glittered berry stem, our peacock feathers and they've got glitter on as well as you'll see some sequins. There's one there. So that as well, our little peacock feathers are uh, iridescent. Can you see the iridescent on the like glass baubles or Christmas ornaments? It's got like a shimmer of green in it. Then the white glittery poinsettia, the little one. Our white fern here. Our silver bay leaf. Our big red glittered fern there. Our elephant ear. And our beautiful velvet poinsettia. Isn't that lovely? And then you've got the red bauble there. And then these apple picks where they've got snow on as well. Let me just move my cat, guys. It's in the way. And then your white poinsettia. And it's got bits of spiky grass in the centre as well. Then your silver patterned uh, bauble there or Christmas ornament as well. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, and I just added two little bits of silver foliage that I found. And then you have your, i show you him here, your lovely stag, which I'm going to reposition. Um, especially the one at the bottom, it looks like is is going to the right, going off somewhere. So, uh, but yes, other than that, guys, I hope you had a great time. And it gives you some ideas to create something without using foliage that is the colour green. So have a wonderful day, take care and I'll see you tomorrow and so will nuisance. What you Molly? Yep there you go. <laughs> Bye for now guys, love you all, bye.